Good morning. This is JHS Weekly. I'm Mariah Vasquez. And I'm Michael Carney. National Honor Society will be hosting a free ACT prep night for sophomores and juniors on Thursday, April 12th from 6.30 to 8.30 in Eagle Alley. Senior NHS students will be tutoring underclassmen in English, reading, math, and science. NHS tutors will be giving ACT tips as well as reviewing practice questions. Light refreshments will be served. Come support the Joplin High School Winter Guard and Indoor Drumline at the 2018 Showcase. They will perform their 2018 show one last time. This will take place in the Kaminsky Gymnasium at 7 p.m. on Friday, April 13th. Doors will open at 6.30 and there is a suggested $3 donation at the door. There will be a bake sale, so check out the 2018 Sport of the Arts Showcase Facebook event. And now with an update on weather, here's Jessica Finnegan. Hello, I'm Jessica Finnegan with your 7-day forecast. It looks like for today the high is going to be 59 with a low of 41 being partly cloudy, while Friday the high is going to be 54 with a low of 20 being mostly cloudy with a 30% or 80% chance of rain, while Saturday the high is going to be 39 with a low of 28 being partly cloudy, while Sunday the high is 54 with a low of 39 being mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of rain, while Monday has a high of 59 with a low of 33 being partly sunny. Tuesday has a high of 56 with a low of 42 being mostly sunny. Wednesday has a high of 64 with a low of 55 being partly cloudy. Now back to you. Thanks, Jessica. Next week is National Library Week, so please come by. Check out or renew a book and get a treat. There will be new original student artwork for Mr. Wolf's Art Portfolio class unveiled on Friday, April 13th. Also, the library takes requests to purchase books the students and teachers are interested in. If you don't see what you want on the shelf, please drop your request in the suggestion box located at the front of the library or ask the library staff for assistance. The soccer team will be having a meeting today in the Talon Room during the last 20 minutes of transitions. All current boys and girls players need to attend. There have been a few questions about our storm safety. Here's Jarrett Graves with more. Being located in southwest Missouri, we are more likely to have tornadoes than a lot of other places. Southwest um, Missouri area, um, it, we do have the potential for uh, strong storms, tornadoes, uh, tornadic activity during a certain season. Um, and that's, that's why we have those. Here, Mr. Thompson will explain why classes have to go across the building to get to their designated tornado safe area. Well, basically, we've had a committee of people come together and they found that that's the best way to uh, move people from point A to point B uh, based on so we don't have a lot of congestion in certain areas and uh, with that way we have proper placement for um, students. During drills, students need to take it serious because in an actual event, there is a risk of people not following the drill and not knowing what to do. Um, I believe that they should take it very seriously, um, you know, move in a, a, a safe and uh, fast uh, paced manner without um, hurting somebody else um, and take it serious at all times because in the event that we would actually have uh, an actual tornado, um, they need to know what to do and what the protocol is. If you have any questions regarding what to do during a tornado drill, you can find a map near most teacher's doors and they'll tell you where to go. This has been Jarrett Grays reporting for Jet HD. Thanks, Jarrett. FBLA will be going to the Springfield Cardinals career game versus the Naturals. It will be Wednesday, April 25th. Give your $10 to Coach Linden or Mrs. Towdy. You will leave FTC at 8 a.m. and return by 3.30 p.m. There are limited spots available, so pay ASAP. There will be an FBLA meeting Friday at 8 a.m. in E-105 to give information on state and next year's officers. FBLA members who are going to state remember they are leaving the FTC parking lot by 11 a.m. on Sunday. You are invited to the annual Joplin K-12 Art Show. This event is being held right here in the JHS Performing Arts Center foyer and art gallery. The show is on display here until April 16th and features artwork from every Joplin school. Teachers are invited to bring their classes down to view it at any time during those days. Come and support the work of our talented artists. Students have started putting positive sticky notes around the building. Many of you may have noticed the encouraging sticky notes around the school and wondered how they came to be. To learn more, I sat down with Athena, who, along with a group of her friends, put up the notes around school. Well, we just wanted to um, send more of a positive, like, environment to people, and it was my friend Emma's idea, and uh, several others helped with it. She just said she wanted to make a change within the school, and um, that this was just her idea of how we could start to make the change. I mean, obviously we'd have to do bigger things to actually make big changes. 
Emma Turner, Athena, and more of their friends came together to make a change in the school. Athena went on to tell me that they wanted to aid the environment of the school to be more uplifting and friendly. I asked her about how they came up with what to write on the sticky notes and what support from students means to them. We kind of just think of it ourselves. Like it's just things that we would want to hear and would help make our day. So we just pretty much put whatever pops up in our head, I guess. Most people are supportive of it and um, they say it just makes their day. It makes us feel like we're making a difference. If you want to help, you can contact Athena, Emma Turner, and their friends about lending a helping hand. Not only that, but you're welcome to put up sticky notes of your own to do what you can for JHS. If you are interested in joining the Peer Buddy Program for the 2018-2019 school year, applications are available outside C239. Please return them to the box no later than April 20th. A Joplin High student has been contracted to a world-class drum corps. Alex Hunt brings us the details. Last year, a high school student auditioned for a world-class drum corps. Now that he has made it, he is looking forward to the future. For the year after this one, I would like to audition for a bigger and better corps. And then after that, like after I age out, I would like to go to college to be a music major where I'll eventually be able to become a uh, band director or like a brass caption head for a drum corps, some kind of music teacher. Um, if I do go to join another corps next year, if I don't decide to stick with Colts, then I'll uh, either go for Boston Crusaders or I'll go for the Blue Coats out of Canton, Ohio. One of the many benefits of these programs is that they are a great way to earn college scholarships. This will open up scholarship opportunities, not only um, because of the core experience, but because of uh, in core, you'll learn to become a better brass musician, better musician overall. And there's also a lot of like characteristics, uh, traits that you'll learn that are very helpful whenever it comes to practicing music, performing music, uh, stuff like that. He says one of the hardest parts about this is raising the money needed to go on the tour for the entire summer. For the most part, I'm raising the money um, through myself, like through my job. I earn some money and I've been paying for some of it that way. And then aside from that, I've gotten a few generous donations, which both of those put together, I have about 1800 right now and I need 1800 more. Reporting for JHD, I'm Alex Hunt. Thanks, Alex. The Joplin FFA Spring Plant Sale will be starting next week. It will begin on Wednesday, April 11th and run through Saturday, April 14th. Hours open will be Wednesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come support the Greenhouse and Landscape class in Joplin FFA. Prom will be held this Saturday from 8 to 11 p.m. for all juniors and seniors. And now with the photo feature, here's Daniel Miller. More students from JHS submitted some great photos in this third installment of Photo Feature. I start with Jensen's photos, shooting with a Rebel XSI. Madison shot her photos with a Nikon D3300. Sierra had sent me some of her work too. Starting with her learning to spin fire poi, Savannah submitted cool photos of some of her adventures from California, Colorado, in her own backyard. This week we have Max again starting with Never Again, featuring the March 14th walkout. Lost Faith was taken by Shoal Creek. Civil Disobedience was another photo he submitted. Cosmic Perestroika shows those that are leading the walkout. Goodbye Blue Sky finishes his latest submissions. Macy had also submitted some good work.
Holly starts off with Game Face, featuring our football team. Next is Leaps and Bounds for Touchdown. March Forward includes our marching band. Student Section Hype shows our team spirit. And Rundown for Touchdown shows off our players a bit more. We finish with Ashley's photo starting with Proud to be an American. Next with Anticipation. Also capturing March for a Purpose, Doing What You Love. Our band in Implementing the Talent of Oneself. And finishing with Marching for the Veterans. Thank you to everyone who submitted their photos, and I look forward to showing off even more. For our next photo feature, I'd like to showcase the work from our staff at JHS. All details on the screen, and I hope you submit your favorite moments to be featured here. I'm Daniel Miller with JetHD. Thanks, Daniel. This has been JHS Weekly. Have a great week.